Sometimes in work and in the general community, we make mistakes. So how to avoid making mistakes? Mistakes can be avoided, for example, in work situation. We are coming across the transfer of learning. That is, it could be the transfer of knowledge from the expert to the novice. Or it could be the transfer of knowledge from an experienced worker to a less experienced worker. So the transfer of the learning, as studied by many researchers, agree that the need to clarify what learners want to achieve is very important. So as to help learners to see the connection between performance and meaningful reward in is very important too. When rewards are delayed, for example, in business and industry, rewards are so far removed from the desired performance that they are ineffective. So, skill is very important to every worker participates in the workforce. How to enhance the transfer or ensure that skills are transferred? So, we must structuring expectations improving the skills and then establishing the rewards. For example, in school, colleges, workplace or universities, the mistakes are always result in the obvious outcomes. The mistakes such as carelessness, like sloppy room setup, poorly organized materials, missing or out of date handouts, etc. The mistakes such as confusion, lack of commitment, lack of clarity and courage, and lack of cultural sensitivity. For more information, watch my previous video on mistakes made and lessons learned in the design and delivery of program from the video link above. Every success has its own story. Every success is going through the process called trial and error. Remember the popular phrase? Mistakes made and lessons learned. First, we need to recognize the word failure. What does it mean? Failure means the condition or fact of not achieving the desired or ends. Failure means the consideration or fact of being insufficient or lacking, a falling short, a weakening. Take for example a program failure. How to deal with it? Number one. How attendance means perhaps marketing did not work, the topic wasn't right or was ahead of its time, time of the day and week or month. Number two, the content was not satisfactory, instructor was off track, needs survey did not reveal a critical topic, group was ahead of or behind the level of material, all the facility facilities were terrible, Refreshments were not ready on time, other include chairs were hard, the restroom wasn't clean, and the room was too hot or too cold. Overall, failure makes us more robust, stronger, and more resilient to the struggle. Failure helps us to become more aware of what we are up against. Failure is as a stepping stone to success. Failure reveals our humility and prevents us from taking ourselves too seriously. So, we must analyze the failure. Sometimes, blame the other person, of course, do it silently. Tell and share, remain objectives, exercise, volunteer to help someone, be kind to yourself, smile, do something wacky to break routines, to read something inspirational or take a, um, another program, job, task, etc. Failure in anything does not mean the end of the world. It means a time for reflection, a time for adjustment, and a time to take a break. If only we can remain calm, confident, and finding help during the process of failure, nothing is too hard for us all anymore. For more information, also watch my previous other video called Every Failure is an Opportunity for Success from the video link above. Finally, thank you very much for participating, watching and listening. Until next time.